All right, well, if you can't tell, I did not make it to the shelter all the way uh, last night, uh, but I didn't really need to. Uh, again, the weather report was inaccurate, and we ended up just having some high gust winds at night, but thankfully no storms. I heard a couple cracks of thunder uh, miles and miles away, though, luckily, so not a big deal. Uh, gonna try to gonna try to just go as far as I can today. There's a shelter at 12 miles, but I really want to push a little bit further. Uh, there's another one at 20, which I don't think I'd, I'd make that, but uh, maybe fall somewhere in the middle there. We'll see what happens. Also, I just want to say thank y'all to those of you who are actually watching this on a consistent weekly basis. Uh, I realize I'm really using this more so as just a uh, diary or a vlog for myself. I mean, I really would like to be able to look back someday and understand my emotions as I was going through this journey. It's so easy when you go hiking to look back very fondly on it and you always forget all the troubles and the difficulties and how much sometimes it sucks. And so I've, I've really enjoyed, you know, being able to make these videos where I can look back and, and just say, wow, I overcame something. It wasn't just a nice little walk in the woods. This, this was one of the most difficult, challenging things in my life. And so uh, I've really enjoyed the hike so far, but of course it's not easy, you know? And so anyway, hopefully uh, y'all are enjoying these and it's not getting too boring. All right, well, today's been a good day so far. I'm about two hours into my hike and I've made six miles already. It's been a pretty nice trail, not a lot of elevation. Uh, so, I don't know, I'm thinking I might be able to make the 20. I'll get close maybe, we'll see. We'll see where I'm at uh, later today, but it is very humid at least, so I am covered in sweat. I'm soaking wet, but hey, that's what I signed up for, huh? All right, I'm a little disappointed. I was feeling so good the first couple of hours. I was crushing miles. Maybe I just went too hard, too fast. Because I just hit a wall. Can't go any further. Shelter coming up. I'm gonna call it a night. I think my friends are gonna be coming. Uh, meet me here, which will be fun though. At least I'll be able to meet back up with the crew. All right, so getting started again here today. It's about 7.45, so got a little earlier start here, but should be heading over Roan Mountain here shortly. Pretty excited for that. It should be very gorgeous up there. It's a nice, beautiful, clear day as well. I've seen in the forecast it's going to get up to 90 degrees here today, so it's going to be very, very hot. First time getting that hot on trail since starting, which I guess that's what I was asking for a couple about a month ago, but... Um, so I did some more research on my ankle issue and the, it's called a torsal coalition and effectively what it is is that my bones fused together as a baby when they shouldn't have and it happens in your ankle specifically in my left ankle. What it does is it causes my foot to kind of be flat footed and then also to kind of roll on its left side on the outer side of my foot and so because some of the energy doesn't get displaced when I step appropriately, um, it ends up making up for a lot of pain in your ankles and your foot and everything uh, throughout the day. And so that's why by about mile six or eight, my foot is just killing me. Um, unfortunately, the only really thing I can do is surgery, which would take over a year um, for rehab. So obviously that is off the table. The other thing I can do is just kind of go slow and steady, take lots of breaks. Uh, take some uh, Motrin or ibuprofen just to make sure the swelling goes down. I guess potentially I can get some steroid shots put in there, but I don't know if that's really worth it. So I think what I got to do is just start waking up earlier, hike a little bit slower and steadier, be conscious of where I'm stepping, uh, try to take as many breaks as I can to allow the swelling to go down, to not aggravate it too much. And it's unfortunate, but I think my miles are just always going to be limited because of that. I was chatting with some folks at the shelter yesterday. They only started two weeks ago, and they're where I'm at right now. Um, and so that was a little disappointing to hear, you know, they've been doing 20, 25 miles a day, just crushing miles. And I realized, you know, I'm only doing maybe 10 to 12. That's because I'm in so much pain by the time I get to the mile 10. It's really hard to continue on. And so I'm hoping it'll get better. Um, it is very disappointing that 
knowing that effectively this is probably not going to change. I'm always going to be limited to maybe 12 to 14 miles, and even that is painful. So um, it is what it is. It's the way I was born. Uh, you know, I'll work through it. Uh, right now, where I'm at, I need to be averaging about 13 miles a day, unfortunately, to get to Katahdin before they close. I know that there'll be some spots where it gets easier, and I'll make up some miles there, but I also know there'll be spots where it's more difficult, and I'll lose mileage there. So we'll, uh, we'll see. We'll worry about that when we get closer. This is the Roan Mountain Shelter. It's the highest elevation shelter on the entire AT. It's over 6,000 feet of an elevation here. It's definitely a different style of shelter than the other ones. It's just a single room in here. Kind of cool though. All right, well, just finished up lunch and it's a little bit after noon right now. Uh, I've done about eight and a half miles, so making good time about two miles an hour when I'm actually hiking, uh, not counting that time I spent for lunch, but the trail here today, I still have 16 miles until I would make it to the Rhone Mountain to the hostel, which is doable. If I can continue this two mile per hour pace, I'd get in just about 8 p.m. today. We'll see if I can actually do that. Obviously, at some point I'll get tired. I'll go slower. My ankles may hurt. Ankle's feeling great so far today, but that's largely, largely to do with uh, the amount of vitamin I that I've been taking this morning. So I popped another one here at lunch, hoping that'll carry me through at least a few more hours before I start getting some swelling and tenderness in my ankle. So we'll see. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to move quickly. Uh, slow, well, I'm gonna move at a steady pace. And uh, hopefully by the eight o'clock hour, I will be at the hostel. I'll also be my first 20 plus mile day. It'll put me at 24 miles actually, which seems impossible, but you know, I chatted with some folks at the shelter yesterday. They reminded me it's all mental. It is all mental. You gotta go slow and steady. Don't take too many long breaks, but definitely take a break when you need it. But again, it's mental, it's a mental game. All right, so I am completely sweaty right now because this is a hot day, but uh, I've done 14 miles, 14 and a half so far today. It's about three o'clock. I've got 10 more to go to get to my destination here, the station at 19E, which is a popular hostel. I think I can do it. It's gonna be a lot of downhill. So I'm expecting it to take probably somewhere between four and five hours. I'll put me in at about seven or eight o'clock. It's doable, let's see. See uh, how my energy levels are going. I feel good so far, so let's see how much longer I can keep it up. So it's probably a bit windy. <sighs> the good news, I've officially broken my all time high for the day. I'm at 19 miles, so every step that I take is a step closer or a step further than what my previous all time high was. Exhausted. I think I can do it. I know I can do it. Guess what, guys? I'm doing it. I've never been so proud of myself to knock out 25 miles in a day. I'm so close. And check this out. Officially done with North Carolina. Oh, I look terrible right now. But that's okay. I'm one mile away from the gap. That'll take me to the hostel. Ooh. I've never been so proud of myself. I didn't think that I could ever do this, but I did it. I'm not gonna get emotional. It's been such a tough day. I commend all those who do this almost daily 
is insane. My uh, legs feel fine. Ibuprofen helped a ton. I don't want to get stuck on this, but man, there's like no swelling even after 25 miles. It's incredible. No pain. It's amazing. Here, I know what he'd be having. I was gonna go down the hill and get some reception for his wife.